Hey, see, hey. is my guy. <laughs> I think you're one of the most misunderstood human beings in this country. Uh, they don't even understand me when I get It's, you know, as long as the business is doing well, then I don't owe anyone an explanation. First time you were in love, how old were you? I was a naughty boy. Me, I started doing these things when I was 12. So. <laughs> What were you falling in love with? In love with cartoons? What was her name, your first love? Aish. She's. Now some of these games are done to be a seed now. Do you have a plan on getting married yourself? Of course. Yes. As long as I find the right candidate, I'll get married any time, you know? I've heard that she's still in love with Zodo. So, you see, you have come to my house. You need asking me things that you know. Learn to come up with. You know, your tricks and games, uh, you know. Genius, the person, is he a lover boy? Is he a player? Is he a church boy? Okay. I'm a lover boy. Okay. You're a lover boy. Yeah, but the time to see people, they mistake mistaken. Are you a cat? Do you think girls like you because of your money? If you cannot afford, what's the pouring of your being in love with you because of your looks? Before you even ask you your full name. She, you know, she's too forward that she does not want to waste time. She wants money. Mm, me does it. It depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> well, I like convincing someone, you know, uh -huh. to do something that she doesn't want to do, you know. What's her body count? I why do you do all white party? It's a way of celebrating my life. I just need a meal. I'll, I'll give you a meal with the expensive champagne, man. I don't need to be real expensive champagne. Don't do with expensive for mists and champagne. They, people, they think pompa. Some they think genius. I don't care. I'm the coolest guy ever. People, they talk about genius in the streets. Every corner in go, either it's in the ghetto, either in the highest offices. They talk about genius. Are you a religious person? Of course. Which religion? Uh, Catholic. Who's the person who knows genius more than anybody else? You know my boy, you know my boy, Kid. Kid Cat. Kid Cat. I went to school with Kid Cat. Yeah. There was a stream above me. Yeah. Kid Cat used to bring girls to school. If you Kid Cat likes girls, girls so much. He brought girls to an old boys school. That hey, Kid Cat likes girls, man. Kid Cat Tell me more about kids, man. Kid Cat he, he likes girls so much, man. But, so when a girl is trying to get close to genius, what one thing do you really hate and what one thing do you really like? That nothing puts me off, really. What's your spec? <laughs> sure, yeah. You, so know. you like yellow bone, dark bone? Yeah. Uh, uh, I like fire. So have you ever dated a white girl or an Indian girl or a colored <laughs> girl? I've been there. I'm an African person. Uh -huh. I, I believe in Africa. Okay. You know? I've been to as far as the United States. You've you been know. to the United States? Did you have a whole white party in the United States? You know, means at the top notch cream of Jay De La Cream. But, you know, I still have a respect for Africa. Have you ever been caught by a girl cheat? I, guys, <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but I just caught. What was your immediate response when you got caught? How is the man you come up with the story, man? Have you taken me to blood? This thing happens to me every day, man. I'm a celebrity, as a man. Not as a man, but you know, in Africa, man. Why do you think? You are so attacked for success. People that attack him as well, the people that have got no knowledge of how I accumulated my wealth, right? They just assume them. They don't talk to me. If they talk to me, I should be able, you know, to give them even tips of how to make money. You know? What pains me? I'm a citizenship of Zimbabwe. <laughs> I live in Botswana, I've never been attacked. I live in South Africa, I've never been attacked in South Africa. I get attacked in my own country. I don't have peace. 
in the Zimbabwe. You see, I don't have peace. You get attacked by your other uh, fellow uh, brother because he thinks I owe him explanation. They're not here before me. They're not here before our other brother who's doing well. You know, they don't ask this, you know, when things were bad, when I was living in the village, struggling to wear shoes. No one even came one day and to make sure that I ate. I managed to, you know, even to dress up. It's only now they want to know source of wealthy. What when poverty was hitting me left, right, and center, nobody was there. Nobody. So are we happy uh, for for poverty? You know, then it, it must be clear that you know we're not here before Zimbabwe is that are doing well. Then mm -hmm. we know we've got too many Zimbabwe that they've left the countries because they're not happy. As we are happy, we don't mm -hmm. leave Zimbabwe. But this is what we get in in the We get attacked. We get attacked. You see, you... I've been arrested twice. I've been arrested the first time. Oh. And I still go to court. But for so nothing. I cannot start explaining this now, but it's pain. How do you plan on dealing with it? You know, at the end of the day, I'm just a nobody. You see, people, they love me too much. It's just see and I'm driving. But, you know, there's nothing much that I can do. You know. I don't have the power. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that the system attacks you because you bring it upon yourself? Do you think there is anything wrong in in buying nice cars? Do you think there's anything? To me, there's nothing yeah. wrong, and I won't stop buying nice cars. I like nice cars. Some people in the offices they buy girlfriends' houses. They do. that's what excites them. You know what excites me is. Buying myself, voice pour myself, last guys every year. What's wrong with that? What's what's your thing? What's your mantra in business? Yeah, like you see, uh, I follow my passion, you know. And that's gas. Yeah, I'm actually like I say, I'm into energy. Okay, yeah, energy. which includes diesel, gas, and what what. And right now we are waiting for something big to put a solution to electricity, my guys. Oh. Yes, we put a solution to something that can uh, generate electricity. And trust, if that thing kicks in, trust me, I will be one of the youngest men in the world. I don't sleep, Casey. I know that. I don't sleep. The well, moment then, I but... believe in the next person, yeah. he fucks things up. They sleep, they don't treat the business the same way I do so. It's, it's very simple. You, the more you commit yourself to, you know, whatever business, trust. It cannot be tomorrow. It cannot be at your own time, but it will, will get there. What is Africa's biggest energy problem? Electricity, man. And why, and why are we failing to solve it? Oh, we are coming with a solution. That's why I'm telling you, we're becoming, you can, yeah. Count me on the youngest billionaires. We we're already the pilot project is done in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, okay. Yes. So you're powering houses or you're powering factories? Um, we done with the with the pilot project. Once it's connected, it's it's approved. Everything we're going to decide how we should attack the market. Obviously, we would. Uh, different ways of doing it. Either we can even deal with the Zesa itself. Uh -huh. Supply, you know? So we are still, we are still waiting our options, you know? Do you think government is in the way of business in this country? Yeah, they are. So you think they hurt more than they help? I can't say much about the government. They're very tricky, man. Uh -huh. He'd rather not for me. I wanted to be part of That's one of the issues in the government, man. You opened uh, the most popular nightclub in Harare. I do those things for fun, man. That's not my line of business, first. So that's not business? That's not business. Okay. So, um, there is a side of the city that says 
that's how you clean money. In fact, you are the ghost. If you've ever watched, it is one of the things if, you, that if, if you've ever they, watched the series they, Power. You're saying I'm feeling the money from where? Dirty money. Dirty money from where? Dirty money from drugs, from bad I don't fuel, know from drug. Look. In fact, they pulled the down one of your billboards at some point. Well, no, but, you know, they're saying that people were naked, so they're selling the plan, show them the products that you have in the club, you know? It's, it's very decent, but you just see people spending money, you mm -hmm. know? Money that you see can change someone's life. Mm -hmm. People, they just choose to convert that money to alcohol, you know? Is there a separation between genius, the person, the business, and the personality to you, or is that all one thing? That's very interesting. Let me tell you more about this. Do you know if you meet me when I'm part, uh -huh. I'm the opposite with the genius that you meet when, when I'm working. Okay. I've got this serious yeah. phrase when I'm, when I'm more, uh, when I'm working, right? Uh -huh. Because obviously I'm just trying to make things work, you know, make sure that A, B, C, D. But at the same time, if you meet me when I'm party, chief, I'm in party anymore, and you think, that's when people now, we have this wrong definition of thinking he's a drug dealer. Because I part like, you know, one of them in the sense that wherever I am, you know, things happen, man, you know, so see, some people, they will hate me for that, you know, part of the right, beautiful girl, you know, even, even my, my male friends, if you look at them, they know how to dress, you know, they take their time, even the girls that hang around us, you know, they're not just girls, you know, man, you know, they take time. What's the best part about being genius? I believe, you know, part excites is it just to see people drinking, you know, dancing, shaking their bodies, going down, making those moves. It excites. Yeah. Do you also do that? Yes, of course. Are you a good dancer? I try, man. I'm more, I'm more than the best, but I try. When you wake up every morning, what's the first thing that's in genius's mind? When I woke up every morning, I touch my phone. This is the first thing that I do. Uh -huh. So if I touch my phone, obviously, I start following up with everyday business. Then I would assume at my house, of course. Then I go and work hard for about 30 minutes and then I don't want to go mm -hmm. I just want to be fit. So I don't stay longer in the gym. Then I come back in my house, I go to the office in my house. So if it means I would do more work that needs to be done, I go sit in my office, make sure that everything is done. And then if it means I have to drive out, then I'll drive out. What's rule number one for you in life and business? What's genius's role number one? No, oh, rule number one is, yeah. you know, I respect to and go from, I respect my parents, man. Anything that comes after I respect, I respect my, you know, my family, you know? Yeah. So rule number one is found. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. You're wearing a very nice watch. What is that? That's a Rolex, man. Because I don't get one of our robots. Never fun. Just that I do. Because when I am, I'm going to buy them. I have to listen. I have to remove two or when they did it, when I bought it in Dubai, you know, I think they did not remove. I told them to remove the buckle. The buckle. Mm. But they did not remove enough, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What but, would you say is the biggest difference between? 30, between 24 year old genius. Because I'm mature. I'm mature enough. For, uh, imagine today, if you, if you give me one billion, you only will see the difference. But if you give me, me a billion, when I was 22, 23, obviously, you see that yeah. over. There's a new king of the block, you know? Are you a responsible spender? 
Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you see, I've been in the game and I've sustained and you will never hear that genius is out. Guys, when was the last time genius cried? I don't, I don't remember. You know, I've had so many problems. I think I'd seen everything in this world uh-huh. that there's nothing new that you can tell me. I'm, you know, I, I've experienced everything, everything that pains, everything that you think I've experienced. So nothing surprised me right now that can you cry. I mean, losing someone's boss, which I've uh, done to me a long time. Well, how do you deal with pain? Like what I'm telling you, I think I'm a graduate of pain, you know? Um, through experience, and I become a graduate. I become a graduate. Nothing surprised. When are you your happiest? So that was mine. <laughs> you. We were doing well and doing things. He's an order me. But was that man brings anything you have on, you know? What's enough money for you? Enough my money. Just enough money to be able to, you know, buy whatever I wanted to buy, you know? First time you made a million, do you remember the feeling? You won't calculate it that way. Okay. That I would admit you. You just see your best yourself above that really, you know? You won't know the day that you, you know, because you don't have money to say it's not a million. So are you a happy man, genius? 150%. I'm a happy man. What's the right way to ask genius for money? I'm tired of people asking you for money every day. My business... Is I wake up in the morning and go into work. Okay. For, 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 for this board. Okay. Right? And then if I make that money, give you that money to you, uh-huh. then you tell me buy in exchange. Ah. Uh... <laughs> 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 <Hey. laughs> <laughs> give me something, I give you money. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Oh, quite a question. Uh, I, I saw you with Aiken. Is he the most famous? Uh, would, would he be the most What is the Roman that was really famous? I've met. With, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did, very you like, famous. did you like Robert Mugabe? I would not like Ennis. Did you like him? I would not like Ennis. Did you vote for him? I would, I, I, you know, I would not get this. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Genius is president for one day. What are the three things genius would do as president? One day, 24 hours, you're given the, the most, most oh. powerful seat in the country for 24 hours. Three things. I'll give him, I'll give, you know, all the less privileged people, if it means money, whatever that can change their life. You know, some people, they are stuck for life. Mm-hmm. They just need someone who can lift them. That's so one. if they become the president, I'll do that. Number two? I'll make sure that even the business people, they, they you know, their problems, uh, the other business person, I'm affected. And I say, hey, I cry, no one can hear me. So, all the needs of the business people, I'll make sure I fit them. Number three. Number three, I'm going to say, that's the purpose of riches. Money available in the ATM. <laughs> <laughs> give them money. We <laughs> haven't given everyone money yet. You can count. I'm one in a million. You know, people that have achieved uh, this idea. Hey. Remember the day I'm now old, I'm 34. Uh-huh. They started in eight grade bag when they be a lot of you know? So imagine when they were 20 or then driving an X5, you know? Not from your parents, yes. from the wide wake thing, you know? From your sweats. Here's a note, you know? Fine. My brother, it's been absolutely special. <laughs> Thank you for sharing a ride with me. No, that's right, my Mr. Lumumba. You already know.
<laughs> they got a very cool thing they show, eh? <laughs> Am I about to listen to this channel? What? I do all you think you guys. I don't know why you didn't to it. I'm very glad I'm not. That's why. You just made it to the I don't know why. Well, you know, I'm a maverick in my own life. I don't know. 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 I